Hello, and welcome to the Berrien Community Family Health Team's Quick Guide on Connecting to OTN eVisits as a Patient. OTN eVisits are virtual appointments conducted over video, which allow healthcare providers and patients to stay connected even while we're keeping our distance. E-visits are designed to be easy for patients to access. All you need is a smartphone, tablet, or a computer that has a webcam, microphone, and speakers. Most laptops will do the job just fine, as well as a reliable internet connection. And, of course, you'll need an invitation. The invitation will be sent by your healthcare provider's office, so be sure to let the office know which email address you'd like them to have on file for you. If you're using a smartphone or a tablet, you'll need to download and install an application before you can start your e-visit. This application is called Pexip Infinity Connect, and it can be found on both the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. Once you've downloaded and installed it, you don't need to do anything else with it. You don't even need to open it. It just needs to be present on your device. Another thing you might want to do before your e-visit is test your internet connection speed. And there's a link to do that right in the email itself. It takes you to this website where you can click on Start Speed Test, and it will run quick tests on both your download and upload speeds. Generally speaking, the higher these numbers are, the better. But for e-visits to run smoothly, you'll want to have a download speed of at least five and an upload speed of at least one. If your connection is slower than that, you may run into issues. One thing that can help is making sure that nobody else in the residence is using the internet during your appointment. No Netflix, no YouTube, and no online video games while your appointment is going on. Once your device is ready and your internet has been tested, you're ready to start your e-visit. And just as you would normally get to your healthcare provider's office a few minutes early to make sure you have time to check in, you should plan to start your e-visit a few minutes early as well. The first time you join the e-visit, you'll need to type in your name. If you got disconnected and need to rejoin, though, it will remember who you are. Next, when you click Connect, this window will pop up, allowing you to select your microphone, camera, and audio output. In most situations, you can just leave these on the default option. Under the microphone heading, you'll see a little bar that moves a bit as you talk, and that means your microphone is working. Under the camera heading, you'll see a preview of how you will look to your healthcare provider. If you need to make any changes, more light, less light, adjusting the angle of the camera so it's pointing at your face and not the underside of your chin, this is the time to do it. Try to make sure you're not sitting directly in front of a window, because having a bright light source behind you makes it harder for the camera to see your face. Finally, under the audio output heading, there's an option to play a test sound, just to make sure that your speakers are working properly. Once everything looks good, click the Start button and you'll join the appointment. If you've started your appointment a few minutes early, your healthcare provider probably won't be there just yet. Think of it as the virtual equivalent of waiting in the exam room after the nurse or receptionist has taken you back there from the waiting room. Don't worry, your healthcare provider will be with you soon. While you're waiting, there are a couple of useful features you might want to familiarize yourself with. First, if you need to temporarily turn off your camera, you can do that by clicking on the little camera icon just to the left of the red button. Once you're ready to turn your camera back on, you can just click the same button again and your video will resume. Similarly, if you need to pause your microphone for a second, you can click on the little microphone icon, then click it back on once you're ready. When either your camera or microphone are turned off, they'll have a diagonal line through them. Once your healthcare provider joins the visit, you'll see their face in the main part of the screen, and you can talk to them just as if you were there in person. And finally, once the visit is over, just click the red Disconnect button and choose to leave the conference. 
This concludes our quick guide on connecting to OTN visits. If you have any further questions or if you need technical assistance, you can contact OTN Technical Support at 1-855-654-0888. The OTN website, otn.ca, also has a variety of troubleshooting guides and videos that you may find useful. And there's a link directly to the eVisit Help Center right in your invitation email. Thanks for watching and have a great day.